Let us now discuss another example from one of the earlier SSC exam papers. The question says the value of 152 into sine 30 plus 2 cos square 45 plus 3 sine 30 plus 4 cos square 45 and so on plus sine uh, 17 sine 30 plus 18 cos square 45 is what? Is it an integer but not a perfect square? A rational number but not an integer? A perfect square of an integer or irrational? So here we need to find out the value of the given expression first and then check which of the given answer options are correct. Now if you observe, though it looks to be a little complicated the expression, but solving that shouldn't be difficult because we know what sin 30 and cos 45 are, right? Sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2, right? Sin 30 degrees is 1 by 2. So in each of the terms where we have sin 30, right? Sin 30, 3 sin 30, 17 sin 30, we can just replace sin 30 with 1 by 2. And all the remaining terms have got cos square 45, cos square 45, cos square 45. Cos 45 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2. So what is cos square 45 degrees? It will be equal to 1 by 2. So clearly both sin 30 and cos square 45 are 1 by 2. So let us substitute those values first. So this expression becomes 152 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 plus this is 2 cos square 45. So 2 into 1 by 2 plus this is 3 sin 30. So 3 into 1 by 2 and 4 cos square 45. So 4 into 1 by 2. So on up to we have 18 cos square 45. So 18 into 1 by 2. Are you able to follow? So the value here is 152 into uh, 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus 4 into 1 by 2. So on up to 18 into 1 by 2. Again let's take 1 by 2 common here. So what do we get? This will be 152 into 1 by 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so on up to 18 that is the sum of first 18 natural numbers if you simplify this 2 goes 76 times what is the sum of first 18 natural numbers the sum of first n numbers can be taken as n into n plus 1 by 2 so this becomes 76 into the sum of first n numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 what is n in our case 18 so 18 into n plus 1 18 plus 1 19 by 2 now this 2 here cancels 18 9 times. So what is the final value? 76 into 9 into 19. Now clearly 76 into 9 into 19 is an integer. Right? It is an integer a rational number. So option D irrational is ruled out. And you know option B a rational number but not an integer. No. It is an integer. Right? The given value here will be an integer. So even option B is ruled out. Then there are only two possible answers. Either option A which says it is, it is an integer but not a perfect square. Option C which says it is a perfect square of an integer. So both are possible. Let's look at which is correct. So definitely this is an integer. The question that arises here is, is it a perfect square or not? Based on that we can select either A or C. Now if you try to look at this value here, it is 76 into 9 into 19. 76 can be taken as 19 into 4. 76 is 19 into 4 into 9 into 19 right so what do we have 19 into 4 into 9 into 19 or it can be taken as 19 into 19 is 19 square into 4 into 9 what is 4 into 9 36 36 can be taken as 6 square so if you observe the final value is 19 into 6 square now without calculating the value can we say this is a perfect square yes because 19 into 6 whatever be the number there 114 19 into 6 is 114 114 square it is a perfect square right that means the given simplification will give us a perfect square perfect square of an integer hence option c is the correct answer right option a is wrong because it says it is not a perfect square we are clearly getting a square here so it is a perfect square hence option a is also ruled out so the answer for this question has to be option C. That is the value of the expression would be a perfect square of an integer. By any chance if you are unable to express the value here in terms of some square like x square or y square then we would go for option A. That is an integer but not a perfect square. But since we have got it in the form of a square here we can say that option C. A perfect square of an integer is the correct answer.